everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Sir Weekly Angelic Message for the week beginning April 25th, 2022. AngelSouls444.com for personal readings. You can get an angelic reading or an Akashic Records reading or join me over at Patreon for just $1. You can get extra readings and content. So let's see what we have going on for this week. Need a rest. We have four of Michael. Eight of Ariel. Okay, so... Because I felt restart, but maybe that's what you're getting. <laughs> yeah, because you have made your change coming. We have the Six of Michael here. And the King of Ariel. So it's going to turn out nice here. But first, we, we have to sort of follow the steps. So there could be something coming up that feels... Look at the... Look at how these all landed with the colors. <laughs> like, that's kind of cute. Four of Michael. Uh, so what I was saying is you might have this opportunity to come up, but you have to get prepped for it. There are things to... Um, consider yeah so don't just run into something if it's not exactly you know exactly right for you, you feel me okay insights that come from quiet meditation the need for more sleep or time off seek relief from stress and the big reason why that is happening is not only would you get overwhelmed by all the changes that are coming but you may make impulsive decisions right because you're stressed and you just want to hurry up and get it done and that's not going to help anything <laughs> okay so make sure you are well rested laying down anything that could influence your decisions. That seems like a really big message coming through here. Then we have Eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So as you go about something, maybe you're picking up a project that you have not dealt with in a long time and maybe you're a little rusty or whatever, it's okay. You can, you can learn to uh, make things better, yes? So there's going to be some effort and some education maybe that goes into whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Okay, so there's that part. The other part of this, which has been going on for quite some time, is learning not to take the societal narrative, yes? And that's not encouraging people to rebel and be ridiculous and, you know, <laughs> don't do that, okay? <laughs> that is not what we're talking about here. We are talking about looking at the world already in place, the world around you, and noticing where you have been taught to hate. Been talking about this for forever. You know, noticing where you've been taught to have judgment of others. Uh, what kind of family patterns have been passed down to you, right? So moving away from all that. So if it was a lack mentality, if it was everything is hard, if it was, you know, if, if you're of this family, then you have to become this, this, and this in the world. You know, all that kind of stuff, laying that down. Then we have six of Michael. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. So you are moving. We are collectively moving, hopefully, <laughs> away from the old way. Moving away from the old way. Now, this is not going to be without its arguments. It might get a little messy. Okay, this might be... I'm hearing contracts, too. There might be some contracts that people are trying to get out of or... Um, I heard fighting against too. So there could be, I don't know, some of you might be in a legal battle or something along those lines. But this is really, I am getting too influenced by the world around me. There's so much chatter I can't even think for myself. There's so many distractions, I don't even know what's up anymore. You maybe retreat a little bit, meditate, do your energy clearing, of course. And then you start to learn you know, that, what is it, the eight of arrow? Yeah, you might start going, you know what, I wanna look more into that idea. I want to look more into that idea, you know, that sort of thing. I know for me, I started really getting into listening to interrogators and behavioral specialists and stuff. It's fascinating. I'm a Scorpio. That stuff just, <laughs> I miss my calling, right? Um, but, you know, that, that has been an interesting thing. And it does play into my work, right? And I think it plays into the work that we're trying to do in this world where if we don't understand each other, we're always going to be at odds. And if we're always at odds, we're always weak. Just remember that. So it's time for us to learn. Again, you might pick up on something that is very helpful for you, but the Six of Michael is definitely showing there's change there. We're moving on. We're not taking this anymore, okay? King of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success, using resources wisely. See, that's important. Use your power for good, not bad, <laughs> right? Don't go out there and play the rebel and just try to force people to believe the way you believe and don't, you know, carry your hatred like a badge of honor. 
Let's get a couple more cards here. So we're moving towards something very stable. This could be a stabilizing of um, procedures in place, maybe that haven't always been um, very helpful or kind or what have you, okay? Yeah, more stability. But stability not because you finally get something, you attain something, but because you find that stability within yourself, okay? You realize that the things you've been told you have to have in order to be worth anything, that none of it matters. So we have strength. Be prepared. Be prepared for news. Be prepared for self-discovery, hard truths to come out, things that don't feel very nice, uh, some things that you really have to admit. And the thing is, is that there will be people out there who have, um, yeah, they're saying they're lost to their pain. They're lost to their pain. So these are the people that instead of developing empathy and you know coming from a more cooperative loving light place they will go into the dark place of manipulation uh trying harder to drag people down so they could be the ones to save them or to control them or whatever so we have to have strength to recognize that and move through and grace handling everything that we are facing with the utmost grace so this might be you know might be a little tricky. I don't know that all of us are well prepared to handle looking at all that. That's why we've denied it for so long. But here it is. Here it is. And we and we do now have the responsibility to look at this. So let's see. There it is. Tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun. The number is 17, which reduces to eight. So again, this is about working with our energy, letting the creative life force come through, allowing ourselves to be lifted up and not dragged back down into some narrative where you notice, because I'm getting this message too, to point out that anytime people do start to enjoy their lives, someone wants to come in and say, yeah, but there's so much more serious stuff going on. Well, we know that, we know that. And you know, it's not that people aren't on our minds or what have you, but I mean, you, you can't be in that low space all the time. And that is what we're being taught now. If we want to create a new beginning, we have to be willing to uh, align ourselves to that energy, to that frequency, and then to handle whatever comes up in the process of getting uh, into that different space, whatever it is that you're trying to create for yourself. If you realize that, again, you've been always in a lack mentality or you know, you and your family have always been put down and said that you couldn't accomplish anything, so maybe you have to undo that. Whatever it is, there is going to be learning <laughs> in the process of getting to where you want to be. And if we resist that, we just hold ourselves up and we hold up humanity as well because we we have to be present. We have to contribute. All right. I, I hope that makes sense. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.